Hello and welcome back to another CAD clip. This lesson is good for all disciplines of uh, Revit and really any version of Revit and probably something that is uh, geared more towards AutoCAD people and people coming from the old DWG world where you want to have in your project in Revit just the leader line. You don't want any text. That's the way we used to do it in AutoCAD. We would do all our text and then we would put our leader lines in after the fact, which means our leader lines are not going to be um, associated to the text, which I do not recommend at all. But uh, for those of you who do want to go down that road, you can place a leader line in Revit without any text. Okay, not again, something I recommend. And what we have to do to do this in Revit is to create a new annotation family that has nothing in it and when you place that annotation family it allows you to create a leader so it's kind of actually really easy so watch what we're going to do here on our recent files I'm going to go to families and say I'm going to create a new family and inside of there I'm going to sort here and I'm going to go to the annotation under imperial templates okay I'm using Vista here um, and using Revit 2011 so under Imperial templates in this case under annotation I'm gonna sort here by name and there's a template we're going to use called generic annotation that's the template file because we're going to create a new family which is kinda like a block or W block so we hit open so it opens us up in the family editor and believe it or not all we have to do is there's some information here that tells you to read this and delete it click on this piece of text and delete it and that's it you've got an empty family of nothing but it's an annotation family that's critical okay you can have a look at some of these options over here but all I have to do really is go in delete that red text and and save this file so I'm gonna go in here and say save as family in this case I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm just going to call it leader that's it leader.rfa save it okay and now I'm going to just load this family into my project and I don't have a project open so I'm just going to go quickly up to here and say into my application pull down new project and I'm going to use the default imperial template and hit OK so now I'm in a uh, empty project Okay, and I'm going to go back to my family, so I'll go to View, and then I'll go to Switch Windows, and I'll go back to that little empty family, and all I have to do now is load this, and I could load it in to the project in several ways, but now I've loaded it in, and I'm just going to hit Escape, Escape, okay, because I don't want to place one yet. Now watch what we do under Families, under Annotation, because that's the category we used for our family there's something in there called leader this is the guy I just loaded so all I'm going to do is go to this leader guy here and say leader arrowhead I'm gonna switch this over to um, oh sorry right click on here okay right click type properties and inside of there leader arrowhead I get to pick what type of arrowhead I want a nice arrow filled 15 degrees hit OK so right click on here after you load it and go to the type properties now that I've done that watch what happens I'm gonna drag this empty family in of nothing and I can say how many leaders do I want one two three four and pink place it that's it escape escape there's your leader with no text its size is going to be controlled by the scale which is good we want that and then I can just take this leader line I can bring it up to here and I can move it over to there okay I can pick on here anytime and move it around so there's my leader and now I can use my control button copy it around you know do whatever I want with it individual so make a new family using the annotation um, template load it into the project right click type properties set your arrowhead type inside of here you might say duplicate and say you know leader 2 well I'm gonna have one with a 15 degree and I'm gonna have one with you know 30 degree hit apply hit OK now I have this leader here and this one might have two leaders escape escape okay one leader type here two here click on here move this guy up take my leader lines do what I want with that 
okay so all from the same family all uh, loaded in and just your basic leader with no text